For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney, and we're here at the Tau Glass booth during Mobile World Congress Americas to speak with Jeff Shamblin, the VP of Engineering, about a new product that's coming out. Jeff, can you tell us a little bit about Boost? Yeah, it's a, a new technology. Uh, we're excited about it. We uh, developed it in the last four or five months, and it's uh, typically it helps solve a problem uh, us and all antenna manufacturers have. When we take a uh, an internal antenna that you'd put into a uh, IoT or M2M device, and if that antenna is sitting in really a, on a small host PCB, typically the low uh, LTE bands, bands 12, 17, 13, bands uh, 5 and 8, typically you're going to be uh, impacted and have less antenna efficiency because the ground plane of the host device isn't big enough. So we developed a technology which we call Boost, Tau Glass Boost, and what it does is it will actually uh, allow us to increase the electrical length of, a, uh, of that uh, PCB. So in other words, if you have a small device, we can make that device look electrically larger, and the end result for the user is for 3G, 4G cellular, NB-IoT, uh, the ISM frequencies used for M, uh, M to M and uh, uh, NBIOT applications, we can now actually increase the antenna efficiency by 1 to 2 dB, which uh, translates to 20 to 40 percent. So effectively, we can now bring back up to 40 percent of that efficiency that was lost because we took an internal antenna and integrated it into a device that is quite small. That small device could be a pet tracker, a child tracker, it could be a very small. Uh, telematics units going into a vehicle. But what we're seeing, and I'm sure uh, you and a lot of your uh, readers are also seeing, is uh, new products come to market in, in, in the uh, NB-IoT and M2M space, device size keeps getting smaller. And really the difficulty always is, is maintaining or increasing antenna performance. And uh, the Tau Glass Boost technology does that. We can now make that device look electrically larger. So you mentioned a few IoT applications, but really this is a wide open space. It can almost be whatever you can imagine it is. I'm right. curious if, as you come to market with this, you have any particular verticals in mind where you think Tau Glass can realize the most value? Uh, yes, we do. We see a, we do a lot of uh, telematic vehicle tracking units, and even though you think about a car being a very large device, why are they worried about size? There's a lot of uh, systems inside of a vehicle, so typically we're seeing telematic units uh, shrinking in size now, so the boost technology will bring, bring back that lost efficiency at the lower LTE bands. Uh, any type of medical wearable device, they're very sensitive to size. And uh, really what we're seeing from a lot of companies in the medical space is they would like to have a wearable uh, heart or other type, uh, other system monitor that a patient is going to wear. They want that to be uh, substantially smaller than a smartphone. So again, the Boost technology will go in and help provide a better 3G or 4G connectivity. And you also mentioned uh, NB-IoT there. I think that's important to come back to is uh, the broad support you can offer with this product because we're seeing huge MBIOT rollouts in, in China and other Asian countries. In the U.S., we're still kind of in the early days with that, but we have CAD M1, CAD M2 up and running. So uh, right. tell me a little bit about why that's important to offer that flexibility and the access. Uh, why MBIOT is important? Uh, well, I mean, one reason is specifically here in the U.S., some of the established carriers can use very small slices of their frequency spectrum uh, and immediately bring NB IoT type applications to market like uh, gas and water metering in residential areas. So without having to bring up new base stations, new cell towers, new radio systems, they can use existing spectrum and really farm it out for NB IoT applications to handle all of these uh, low data rate and uh, quite often uh, a little bit longer range requirements. So uh, they can use existing uh, cell, uh, cellular and base station infrastructure, bring in new NB-IoT type applications, and provide uh, you know, the customers with that new service. All right, excellent. Yeah. Thanks for uh, getting us up to date on Boost, Jeff. Yep, thank you.